In this episode I will hold the steering wheel, I'll open the bonnet and probably I'm not going to get any blueberry muffins. Don't be so rude or you're not gonna get any blueberry muffins. Hi guys, in this episode I'd like to introduce you this Škoda Superb from 2014. It's got 2 liter diesel engine with 6 speed manual transmission and it was previously used like a private hire car. I bought it more than 2 years ago with 226,000 miles. Straight away I did regular maintenance, what was engine oil change with oil filters. Also I replaced shock absorbers, coil springs, front and rear anti-roll barrelings, new front and rear brake pads with brake discs, new Michelin wheels and also new alloy wheels. The windows tint by myself, new steering wheel and also car was detailed from outside and inside as well. Inside, wet vacuuming, cleaning of all greasy, disgusting interior panels, headliner, seats, completely everything. From outside, firstly claying whole body of the car with Sonax clay disc and glass cleaner like a lubricant, then compounding with Sonax Cadmax and wool pad. And in the end, polishing with Sonax Perfect Finish with softer pad, and also I applied polymer net shield like a sealant with very satisfying result. And not long after that, unfortunately on my holiday, I met a Bambi. Fortunately at the moment I had a duct tape. Later on it was repaired in proper manner. Then I was using this car without no issues and at 232,000 miles I did a regular maintenance again. And with that timing belt, with all the pulleys and also water pump. Also I had a small oil leak from engine, exactly from crankshaft bearing seal. I didn't want to replace it because it would be very time consuming so I tried another option. So I poured into engine Liquimoly motor oil saver after engine oil change. And after around 2000 miles the leak stopped and it's not leaking since then. And what I'm going to do with the Škoda Superb right now? Well it's about to reach 240,000 miles so it's almost due for another regular maintenance. Also I like to do front control arms, rear control arms, subframe bushings, wheel bearings, brake fluid change and few small bits here and there. But in this episode I'm just going to do a regular maintenance which is engine oil change and filters. So let's get to work with this flagship. No 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 that's not the proper flagship. My 7 series is the proper flagship. But this is the proper flagship as well. Look how much space you got there for your legs. It's even more than in the 7 series. Yeah, that's a big mystery for me. But when you hit the bump, I can feel it in every cell of my body. I just don't like it. And also there is no air suspension. Don't worry, when I'll finish with this, it will be again comfortable. Anyway, I don't like it. Without air suspension. Come on, you have to like at least something on this car. I like that it's showing the exact time and temperature in center console. It's kind of cute. Which makes me realize you have to finish it soon. Because I have another, the proper flagship for you. Not this silly thing. Ah, you mean that money pit what you bought. Don't be so rude. Or you're not gonna get any blueberry muffins. Alright then. So let's get to work. All parts what we need. Engine oil. 5W30, oil filter, fuel filter, air filter and cabin filter. Firstly, let's prepare two big pieces of plastic. And now let's drive on them. Pop the bonnet. Remove underbody tray. It looks like I got an oil leak. No reason to panic, it's just residue from 2000 miles period after I used Liquid Moly Motor Oil Server. And I didn't clean it yet. Also, I'd rather remove this oil soaked textile cover what can cause in future unwelcome barbecue party.
Now let's remove the drain plug. Next step, oil filter. Little bit of cleaning and covering the oil filter housing to prevent any unwanted debris or dust what can easily get into engine. Cleaning of filter cap and removing old o-rings and installing new o-rings and oil filter. Small amount of oil to lubricate O-rings. Ready to install. New drain plug. And proper cleaning. Underbody tray back in place. Fill the engine with engine oil. And now fuel filter. There is some dirt at the bottom of fuel filter housing, so I'm going to suck that off with pump and clean rest of it with microfiber towel. New fuel filter coming in, but firstly remove old o-ring and install the new one. I know that fuel system should be bleed with diagnostic tool, 
but I don't have it at the moment, so I'll be just cranking the engine till it starts. And this step is done. And now air filter. New air filter. Close the bonnet and drive off the ramps. And finally cabin filter. Pretty dirty, very disgusting. New cabin filter. Just a little bit of vacuuming. And the last step, tuck for the service interval. So that's simply done. Also my hair is much longer. The reason why, I mean, not the reason why my hair is much longer, but why it took me so long to do this video is because firstly I wanted to finish this car and later do a video about it and also I was busy with the main struggle thing which is like you know the life itself I had some job to do because this I'm doing in my free time and also my girlfriend is always get crazy and she's looking at me like I'm doing something on the car she got that weird look you know that and in next episode you'll see what i did with this car basically i stripped the whole suspension i sent front and rear subframe for power the coating also brake calipers new bushings were installed all of them also new control arms and in the end i did transmission fluid change and also wheel tracking and all of that you'll see in the next episode and if you're interested what money pit i bought check the instagram that's all for this episode Thank you for watching, see you in the next one.